Yes, it is an exclusive. A major candy maker advocating less sugar in its products. Joining us is Tracy Massey, the new president of Mars Chocolate North America. Mars endorses limiting added sugars and artificial chemicals in its products. It is a breakthrough that you are doing media, you are doing television. <laughs> Mars Thank people you, never do this. And you've chosen us to be of your course. gateway to America? That's very good of you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. Now, you brought the candy with of you. Of course. Just a small selection. We of take it candy. everywhere. Okay. Now then, you are in favour of limiting excess sugars in candy, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Limiting excess sugars in your diet. So okay. it's very important that consumers have transparency and they know what they're eating. Our products are a treat. They're not a meal. People know that there's sugar in them. The point is you need to know how much sugar, and then you can choose what to eat and what not to eat to make sure you balance your so lifestyle. So you really support this new labelling idea? Absolutely, okay. yeah. You, what you eat, you want to know what you eat, and yes. you support that. Yes. Now, are you limiting, are you changing your candy in any way, shape, or form? That's a very important question. <laughs> it is, it is. And what our consumers tell us is the most important thing is taste. Yes. So we're continuously looking at how to make our products better, but, are but we, you will changing, not, are you changing? we will not change the taste. Okay, you won't change the taste, but will you change the content, like getting rid of some excess sugars? Will you do that? So we have been reducing the saturated fats in our products. We've been doing a lot of things. So we will continue to want to make our products better, but not to compromise the taste. One of the things that we have been doing is introducing new products with lower calories. So okay. our, we won't change our fantastic taste and peanut M&Ms. I'm not going to change those. But what we did introduce earlier this year is M&Ms Crispy, and that's down at 180 calories. OK. And labelled. OK, now, wait a sec. You and I are both Europeans. We right? are, yes. And you've got an accent, yes. and so have I. Now, when I go to Europe and I eat their chocolate, I really, really like it. It's nowhere near as sweet as American chocolate. It tastes a whole lot better. Why don't you do that in America? That's a personal opinion, Stuart. I think our product here tastes fantastic. Oh, you're good. Yeah, but we're, <laughs> oh, we, are, you're very good. we are the world's largest chocolate maker, yes, world's largest confectioner. So we do make products in Europe. And you're um, totally private, aren't you? We're totally I private. You can buy stock in Mars. Absolutely I? not. Family owned. And that's why we can do what we do. And it's one of the richest, I shouldn't say it's one of the richest families in the world. That, isn't I, it? that I can't comment on. No, I know you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and they never appear on television, do they? What I can tell you is <laughs> you go, being private enables us to make investments. So just yesterday, we announced an investment of $100 million in a new uh, extension of our factory in Topeka, Kansas. For 100 years. Why are you putting Putting a hundred million dollars into America. Into America, because yeah. we believe that we should um, invest in the economies in which we. When we grow, the economy grows, and we should put back. So for a hundred years, we've made what we sell. We make ninety-five percent of what we sell in the U.S. We don't believe um, in making it somewhere else. We don't believe in letting somebody else make our chocolate. So we roast cocoa beans in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. We roast peanuts in Albany, Georgia, because we believe that's a way to keep the quality of our product. And what you want is great taste. Yeah, they're adding jobs, Stuart. They're adding jobs. Adding to jobs. Time, which Look, is, I'm you know, all in favor. That. I am so <laughs> flattered that anybody from Mars actually appears on television <laughs> in America that well, it's on this program. Ask her about think. this, because I'm dying. This is called goodness. They're making a health bar. Tracy. These are yes. big sellers. <laughs> Let These me ask huge. you about goodness knows. <laughs> yes. What is this, a new health bar? So yeah. this is a new snack. Um, it comes out in August. It's got four pieces and it's only 150 calories. So while, while we won't, <laughs> we won't change yeah. the taste of our Seriously. existing products, we will bring you new products that taste even better and are better for you. And that's what our retailers want. That's what our consumers want. Are you going to raise the price? If it's so much healthier for you, does you so much more good, you're going to raise the price so I have to pay for the health? So one of our philosophies, being a private company, is yeah. value for money. Um, and we believe in value for money. Did, so you're not answering the question. So Are you we going will to change the prices. We will provide affordable snacks for people. This is a very going to be a very affordable snack. How and much? Depends where you depends right. where you I buy it. Oh, right? York, oh, okay. If you New buy Jersey. it in uh, New Jersey, yeah. But if you buy it in a convenience store versus a large supermarket, okay, I'll buy it in go, a convenience store in New Jersey. It'll go anywhere from under a dollar to way over a dollar, depending on the retailer. Really? Yes. So it's up I to the retailer. Kind of thing. I would pay Absolutely. That. The retailer decides the this. price. I, I just got to get back to this. You are the largest chocolate maker, manufacturer, whatever you want to call it. In the it, world. In the world. Yes. Are you way out front of everybody else? Not way out in front, but we're, we are the biggest. That's extraordinary. Yeah. And, and M&M's is the number one brand in the world. Now, aren't they called Smarties in England? <laughs> they're, they're, they're not ours. 
That's, they are not ours. ours. No, <laughs> I they don't it. taste Skittles, nearly as good. Right? Skittles, Skittles no. is ours. Snickers is yours. Yeah, Twix. And of course, M and M's. Twix as well. Dove, all the good ones. Dove. Oh, Dove is good. That's a dark chocolate. Milky one. Way. Like but Smarties. That's the one. I'm not sorry to raise Smarties. Raise Come on, have you tasted M and M's? Yes, of course I've tasted. Way better than Smarties. But Smarties aren't really here, so obviously. Yeah. Okay, Tracy. It was a real pleasure. Congratulations on the hundred million dollar investment in America, and thank you very much for coming on television. Thank you very much for having me, and enjoy the products. They taste fantastic. Leave them right there. I will do.